So joining us now is uh, Jack Patton from uh, the Lions Club. How are you? Good to see you. Great. Jack, and thanks yeah. for joining us. Speaking of uh, events coming Thanks for having me, in. Marty. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. And uh, speaking of events, uh, the Lions Club has a few things uh, coming up that you're going to be uh, taking part in and offering to the community. And now, one event that I look forward to, and I'll, I'll be there with my video camera, is uh, you guys do a, a silent auction slash live auction charity fundraiser to help feed Lake Orion families. Talk about that upcoming fundraiser. Well, like you said, it was uh, it's on November 2nd, and it's at, um, oh. Eagle Creek <laughs> Academy. Thank you very right here in front there, of me. There you go, Eagle Creek It used Academy. to be where? At uh, the, the, the dealership. dealership. That's right. right, so it's moving for the first time this year. Yeah, um, the Malosh family has always been gracious. Mm -hmm. It's, this has been going on over 20 years. Yeah. So, um, and and what it is, it's a fundraiser to feed. Uh, we're up to over 240 families mm -hmm. and about 80 seniors. And uh, all the money we gather from this auction will go to pay for the uh, canned goods and, and perishable items we furnish the families. And the Christmas gifts. You guys hand out a lot of Christmas gifts too. We do. Uh, if there's children involved, uh, we normally will have gifts for them as well. So, okay. so describe what someone will experience at the fundraiser. I, it's a ticketed event. You need yes. a ticket to get in. You need a ticket to get, get in. Uh, you can go to our website, uh, lines.org, and click on the event, and uh, the ticket application will come right up. There's $60 a person, and that includes dear, uh, dinner and an open bar. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's been the same for the last three, four years. Um, we're a little bit slow on ticket sales right now, so we really need tickets being sold. Um, well, what's on the menu for dinner? Well, uh, on the menu, I didn't bring it with me, but <laughs> it, it's really good. So it's like um, if, if you're... Um, uh, have any diet issues you just need to let us know and we'll fix like a gluten-free there's always gluten-free but there's uh, beef tips uh, and then also uh, Parmesan chicken type thing and desserts and salads and rolls and this is all um, given to us or not given but we hire uh, the catering up at <laughs> so it says Fairway Catering? Is yeah, that Fairway right? Catering, yeah. but it's oh, Metamora okay. Country Club. Okay. They have uh -huh. their own catering company, and it's oh. and, they're, and they're really good. Um, and uh, like I said, they've been doing this for the last three, four years, mm -hmm. and it really helps us out quite a bit, what they, excuse me, give us. And uh, and it's just a fun time. So what happens, we have... We have, there's not going to be any uh, live auctions. We're going to have all silent auctions. Mm -hmm. Some of the auction items are, are foursomes at Indian Wood on the new course and the old course. Uh, Metamore Country Club gave us a foursome as well. There's two sets of tickets, one for suites down, downtown for uh, the Pistons and the Red Wing games. Mm -hmm. um, Blackstone Grill, griddle. Uh, I mean, it just goes on and on. We have uh, different things, uh, neon signs, clocks, what are really popular now. Uh, Detroit Lions is one, and then the other one is going to be like it's five o'clock somewhere. But it, it, and then we have jewelry, uh, no clothing. We haven't done the clothing, but because that's so hard to shop for at mm -hmm. a silent auction. And then, um, uh, I imagine you have Lions Club's members who are out trying to solicit these these uh, auction items. Where do they come from? Who do you reach out to to donate these items? Local businesses. Uh, we've got some members who will go down Baldwin and just hit up all the uh, uh, stores and restaurants there. Phone calls for gift cards. Uh, that's one of the things I have to do in the next three or four days. Um, but they, they, um, that's where we get quite a bit of our gift cards, but most of the auction items, except like I said, like the golf outings and down watching the Piston games, uh, we end up 
having to purchase at a really good price I see. is like what we have to do. So that that all encompasses pain for people to. So show you're still up. looking for uh, donations. Oh, yeah. Donations are are good. <laughs> so if that ticket somebody sales is, are better, but <laughs> if people have items out there they want to put into your silent auction. They can contact you. Yep, yep. Just go to lions.org, uh, Lake Orion Lions, and um, there'll be a contact person. I think my name is on the flyer. Uh, the flyer is also on our website, and it's also on Facebook. Mm. Uh, that's, that's awesome. That's, yeah, it's it, it, we're we're working very hard in the next couple of weeks to get it rolling yeah it's crunch time i would imagine yeah, yeah yeah so at the silent auction if i remember correctly there are sheets in front of each item and yep. if someone is interested they write their name down and then they they jot down a bid is that how it works yes yeah and then you try to if you're interested you try to top that bid. right that's exactly how it operates and there's usually a minimum uh, bid amount and then increments of a certain dollar mm -hmm. and then that's on that sheet as well yeah yeah what kind of turnout do you expect? What have you gotten traditionally as far as a turnout? Traditionally, um, last year we had 265 people. Mm -hmm. And uh, the year before that we had 300. So uh, we're trying to get 250 to 275. Um, and the uh, facility where we're having it is quite large. So we need to fill it up. Mm. Now, I don't want to put you on the spot here, but I know in the past the Malash family has donated their space for the auction. Is there any overhead involved with Eagle Creek? Do you have to pay to be there, or are they yeah, giving you yeah. a deal? Yeah, since we're a nonprofit, there is somewhat of a, a discount there, but yeah, it's, it's quite a chunk of change that we have to mm. come up with. And we did increase our prices on the tickets just to offset the cost of that. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully, Sarah had purchased Malosh dealership, and they're on, we talked to them, and they, they're under construction, so they couldn't mm -hmm. do it this year. Hopefully, we can go back there next year, yeah. so then we don't have to have that huge bill starting up front. Yeah, right. Now, this is a fundraiser for the event that you have in December. It's like a week before Christmas. Talk about that, the environment um, at the Cirque building. Uh, are you gonna have access to the Cirque building again yep. this year? Yep. Because I know there's talk of demolition over there, but. I've talked to the people who are in charge of that building and they're not going to demo out where we're going to be occupying. Okay. And uh, the basket packing is on December 20th and then the, the delivery is the 21st, the next okay. day. And we, we, like I said, we, we end up getting 240 families, so that takes about four to five hours to deliver it. We have all volunteers coming in and to deliver it. We, we go up to Oxford and we also go, since it's uh, um, Lake Orion School is an open school, so we have kids in Pontiac. So we contact the Lions Club in Pontiac and have them come up and deliver baskets in their own local community. Yeah, I've shot video, you know, every year for, I don't know, maybe a decade, and it's really something to see when all the volunteers, there's uh, students that are all in that gymnasium, not only packing those boxes, but sorting all the food that comes in. What's the source of the food? Where does all those donations come from? A lot of them come from the schools themselves. They'll have uh, little fundraiser competition in different classes, mm -hmm. all the way to the elementary school to the high school. And um, so we go collect them, that or they come and give them to us. But that's where we get most of our canned goods from. Mm -hmm. And then, then we have to go out and purchase the other type of food because we try to equal it out with food. I mean, toilet paper, dish soap, bar soap. I mean, stuff like that yeah. where people need, Toothpaste. I mean, I mean, it's just mm -hmm. things like that people need. So. I've also seen hats and gloves and scarves yep. and things yep. like that. And how are the families uh, chosen? How do you pick the ones? They, they need call. It? They call the our website page, and um, mm -hmm. and and uh, leave their name. And then we have a chairman, Dave Line, Dave Tucker. He he calls and interviews them and um, gets their address and. That's do you have more need than you're able to take care of? Every year, 
every year. Well, we take care of as much as we call. We very rarely reject anyone. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we take care of most of that. And it's usually about two weeks of, of uh, groceries. It's just not like a box. Yeah. So, so you, these folks know you're coming. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. What's, it, what's that day like? What's, what's the moment like when you arrive? When you're at a person's when house? You're delivering, yeah, when you're yeah, bringing gonna, everything to them. Yeah, talk about delivering well, that box to the family. It's, it's kind of uh, sensitive. As you can see, I'm, I'm, it's hard sometimes because uh, the people who are really in need appreciate it so much and they can't thank you enough. Mm. And there's more out there than people really think in Lake Orion who really need the help. And uh, I can tell you stories about years past where people would leave this nice, beautiful home and they'd come back and complain, you know, these people are getting this basket. Well, did you know that that man just lost sight in one eye? He's got cancer in the other eye and he's a mechanical engineer. Mm -hmm. So where is he going to be a year from now? Yeah. Or I've gone to a mason's, um, stone mason's house, beautiful home. People would always want to, you know, do they really deserve it? Right. Well, the guy broke his back. He fell off a scaffolding and broke his back. Mm -hmm. So he's unemployed. So, I mean, it's those situations where you, and typical of where the kids come to the door and the parents push them off to the side and we bring in the gifts, but we keep them in it's kind of crazy but we give them black bags so the kids can't see, can't the, see. Yeah, the, yeah. the baskets or, or the, uh, uh, the the toys yeah and they're already wrapped and, and that's some of our interview we do on the phone is the gender and the age of the child or children in the family and um, we go from there so it's you know, so the, a bonus at Christmas time under the tree for them yes yeah yeah and I, I've gone to places where it's an, uh, again I mean you go there and it's a nice house and there's a car in the garage but and this this one lady had like three kids and it's like I, I went home and explained to my wife what happened she says you have no idea the husband might have bolted or the spouse whatever yeah, yeah. and left them with the payment and you know so it, the situations are always it, it's hard to to judge and that's what we try not to do is judge yeah. I, I've seen in the past where Lions Club members will bring their children to the event to help pack because they want them to be aware that you know to appreciate what they have because there are families out there in need who you know don't might not have gifts under right. the tree come Christmas morning so yeah. what you're doing is is really amazing prime example my daughter takes a day off She's not a lion, but she takes the day off and brings her to well, their middle school now in elementary school on Friday and let them pack and give time and uh, help your community back. Yeah, that's great. Any other uh, Lions Club events coming up uh, between now and then? No, this is, this is the big one, and actually this this auction is one of the the uh, largest. Uh, net incomes we have besides the jubilee during the summertime yeah. we'll have some smaller ones uh we have lion races i think that's a spring april yeah. april 5th i think and that's going to be at boulder point mm -hmm. and that's another fundraiser we do as well now correct me if i'm wrong do you guys do something uh at like this uh, pine tree or with special needs students uh, during the holidays that's another cool program We've been doing it now probably for time escapes and maybe eight, nine years. Yeah. And there, it, again, it's very emotional because it's all special needs kids. And, and at Pine Tree, if I'm correct, I think it's not just our school system, but it's Oakland County yeah. uh, special needs programs. And we buy gifts. And, I mean, it, it, it's, it's really cool because you, the kids will enjoy a ten dollar gift you, you know and some of the reactions of the kids is uh, very heartwarming yeah and it's a very and we bring in a McDonald lunch you know and it's just something kids don't get and it's just it's just really kind of cool to do and Santa makes an appearance if I'm not mistaken yep and and we have an elf 
<laughs> go along with them. And Mrs. Claus, if she's if she's able to show up, she'll she'll show up as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a fantastic event. Yeah, that's really very, cool. Very cool. So yeah, lots going on. You guys are do doing great things in the community. The website is lakeorionlions.org. Yep. Is that correct? Is that what yeah, it so it says here, lakeorionlions.org. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I knew that from memory. <laughs> so yeah, if you know of a family in need or if you are part of a family in need, go to their website, get that contact information, reach out to the Lions, they'd love to help you. If you wanna volunteer your time, I know that on the, the day of packing uh, those boxes, they're always looking for volunteers, so maybe you can get a group of people to, to come out on the 21st? 20th. 20th. The 20th is the Saturday? Yeah, you usually okay. show up around nine o'clock. Okay. And then delivery the next day, all at the Cirque building. Yep. And we usually have people wind up with their vehicles and they'll take two or three loads at a time and we usually get done about one o'clock 1 30. yeah it, it's, it's a great thing to see a great yep. thing to witness so yep. it's all right there on the website like orionlions.org reach out to them if, if you need help or you can help out jack thanks for coming out i really appreciate it great chatting yeah, with jack, you good. thank you and i'm sure we'll be seeing you in a couple of weeks at uh the the auction uh is just a couple of weeks away yep yeah yep yeah.